Welcome back to Switched to Linux. This is Tom. So uh, I've been a little slower on the videos. Obviously, you know, I've been uh, moving. Uh, I also have been preparing for a business expo at our local uh, uh, chamber. So I was uh, doing a presentation on responsive web design. And uh, the cool thing is I, I delivered the, my presentation. I sat in on two other presentations. One of the presentations, uh, they were using a Mac. One of them, they were using a uh, Surface computer and one of them was was mine and uh, the reason I wanted to do this video is just kind of talk about uh, some more of the Linux software I've done some distro stuff I haven't done a lot of the Linux software and I wanted to talk about um, how I put the presentation together I used uh, LibreOffice Impress which is the um, Linux based uh, open source version of uh, what would be on Windows uh, the PowerPoint presentation and you can actually see here from the screen that uh, this is uh, quite normal. So I actually developed this, uh, the master slide that's, that's used here, and I've never used this program at all. So I jumped in, I had to do a couple little searches on, on how to get the master slide to work. Uh, this is actually themed and branded just like my website. If you go to uh, westernmtnweb.com, you'll, uh, you'll see my website there. Um, and uh, I actually I took off my uh, my direct uh, local business phone number and my um, uh, my local business uh, email from the master slide that was over here uh, but um, everything else I, I kept the same for the video and uh, basically I just wanted to walk you through uh, some of the steps that I that I did here and uh, just show you that, that you can indeed use use this so I wasn't completely certain that we had everything I would need. So I kind of came prepared. I brought two different computers with a couple different uh, monitoring inputs. Uh, and then I also brought with me, I, I took this file, I came into the file and uh, save as menu. And then you can save as here a uh, PowerPoint presentation from PowerPoint uh, 7 to 13. Let me see if we can do an older PowerPoint as well. Yep, so you can do an older PowerPoint from 97 to 2003. And so uh, with those, um, uh, with those there installed, um, I basically exported it, checked it out on the Windows computer that's kind of behind me here. And uh, I just had a look here. Uh, not that one, that's Linux. Uh, by the computer that's totally behind my chair, you can't see it. Uh, that's a Windows computer. And I checked it on PowerPoint on that computer just to make sure it was still working. I had to do a couple little tweaks here and there uh, to get to get everything working just the same. But for the most part, uh, what I built on LibreOffice was pretty compatible with PowerPoint. Um, I would have needed to take off the slide transitions. That's all I changed is the colors, uh, some of the colors and the slide transitions. So I saved some of those around and otherwise uh, it did work just, just as fine. It actually took me five minutes to properly convert it from uh, the open source uh, software format to the PowerPoint software format. But I brought that on a little flash drive just in case. I ended up not needing it and it ended up that my computer was the only computer that went in there and plugged directly into the projector without any crazy hassles. And that was kind of cool because I wasn't even really expecting that. I was expecting to have to go into my display settings and, you know, turn on or turn off mirror settings or whatever else. It went flawlessly. I came in, this is uh, the same computer I used, Linux Mint Cinnamon. I came in, turned it on, plugged the computer into the, um, uh, into the HDMI port. And with this computer here, unlike all my other computers, um, I don't even really have to change any of the settings. If I have the top on this computer open and it's plugged into another monitor over here, for example, then uh, I will actually be able to see my main desktop on the laptop screen and then it will give me the extended desktop on the HDMI monitor. But as soon as I close the lid here, then it just shuts this one down and the full desktop screen goes over to the monitor. So I could easily just set the screen down, set it over to the side, plug in uh, you know, a, a little random keyboard that I have down here for, uh, unless I break it, uh, have a little keyboard down here for any, if I happen to need a, a keyboard, it's actually a keyboard mouse combo, just a little cheap generic, uh, I don't know, insignia or whatever. It's just, I just keep it down here in case somebody brings a device over, I can just plug right into it. I also have an HDMI cable for that and usually have an internet cable over here. I think I used it for something else and haven't brought it back yet. Um, 
But basically, I'm docked here in this office to be able to, to quickly uh, plug anything in that I need to. Well, this computer just worked flawlessly for my presentation. I plugged right into the HDMI port. It worked perfectly. I was able to see my notes on the, um, on the extended screen, and it, it was great. So I did a presentation. Um, no problems. Um, never used... Uh, the um never used this particular program it was it's called impress before and i just kind of jumped right into it now actually the last time i even used powerpoint um i think i might have done a seminar i don't know maybe three years ago four years ago when i was still in wyoming i think i did did a, a very fabulous seminar called don't hire the high school neighbor um talking about some of the uh the errors people do in in making uh websites um, but, uh, here, um, I haven't touched PowerPoint in at least three years, never touched impress, jumped right into it, built this presentation with a full custom theme and, uh, it actually worked great. So I just kind of want to show you uh, some of the ways that, that this program works, having, uh, worked with it over the course of, of this last week, still pretty fresh in my mind. That'd be a great time to do a, a Linux software package. So here I can, uh, over under the properties menu over here on the right, I can actually uh, select the various types of properties. And um, if you happen to be on one of these other screens here, um, let's see, and you can't get back to this. I, I, for a while, I couldn't get back to that, that very easily. And if I just right clicked anywhere on the slides, it actually generally brought me back. It's not doing it right this second, but... Um, I was able to get over here and uh, change the slides. But maybe that's if I have a new slide. Oh, well. Anyway, um, right clicking on the new slide, I think it was, or on a blank section on a slide would bring me up this layouts menu so I could easily just change the, the slides around. Um, you also have going down here, this is how your slide transitions. I have to remember not to save anything I do here, but here's my slide transitions. And then I come down and here is, you can do your custom animations. So actually I use custom animations on these guys here. I have crazy cats back there doing something. I'm still not used to all of the sounds this apartment makes. <laughs> Someone knocking on a door, I don't know. Um, but anyway, with the uh, custom, trans, uh, custom animations here, I was able to select various things to uh, to uh, come in. So here actually I loaded the first round of text and then I did the bitmap and then I did the uh, the second and the third bullets. Um, so actually if I pull this up, I'm not sure if this is going to work if I do this. I'm not sure how OBS is going to handle this or not. So let's see what happens. So you can see how it kind of gets into there like that. All right. And so this guy here, the, what's it? One, two, three, four, fifth one down. This is kind of the masters. So there's various other master slides that would ordinarily be available over here. Um, I actually just uh, created my own master slide and you do that by coming over to view and hit the master. And then here you can actually make any adjustments that you want to make. So if you did want to uh, end up doing uh, something else like another text box, here is new text down here, and then come back up to view, go to normal, and you'll see that that's actually gonna be applied to every one of the, um, uh, every one of the slides. I'm gonna come over, just delete that. So that's how you can edit, edit all your, your masters all at once. And again, I, I had to get on and, and do some internet searches to, to figure out a couple of the, these little odds and ends. Uh, but uh, end up turning out pretty nice. Um, uh, I didn't want to spend boatloads of time working on uh, working on uh, how to make everything here, but uh, I did end up putting enough time into it that I, I did put together a, a very nice uh, a very nice presentation. And uh, uh, overall, it worked out great. So. Basically, I just came down here. Um, let's go down to the last slide. If I want to add a new slide, our new slide button is up here at the top. And then here, um, go back up to the properties. I can select which type of uh, slide that I'd like to do. And then uh, here, I can just go ahead and uh, just like in PowerPoint, last I remember anyway, 
you know, I, I get the options here. I can just click to insert an image, click for a chart, click for a table, click for audio or video, or just come up here and just do some text. So I was changing my bullets around a little bit. So I can right click on this, go over to bullets and numbering, and you can do any type of bullets here. And what I actually chose to do on mine is I wanted to use a custom bullet type. So I come down here to character and the one I was using was under the Libre Sans and I was using this guy here. Hit insert and then that would save. And I'm pretty sure there's a way I could have added this to the master slide so it always gave me that by default. For me, it wasn't a big deal to just put in the text, copy all the text, right click it and change it like that. Of course, you can change all your other colorations here. I did all of, oops, sorry, I did, uh, I did all of my uh, titles in the orange that matches my business, which just ended up being close enough to this one here. So there's how I did my uh, titles there. And uh, that's pretty much how it worked, you know, is uh, no real surprises. Everything operated uh, the same way I remember uh, PowerPoint operating. And so here is a completely free, completely open source Linux software that takes care of, I happen to be at a business expo. I was asked a while back to give a presentation on responsive design and I came right into this software. This is on a Linux computer. You know, it is using full open source software. Everything on this is completely free. There's no limitations to what I can, can do with this software. I was able to take this computer, plug it right into the projector, uh, right at the conference center, and showed my presentation no issues at all. So again, uh, this is the, um, definitely don't save. <laughs> this is LibreOffice, and I'm using the Impress Presentation option under LibreOffice. And actually, uh, now that we kind of have a new one here, if I don't want to use this particular one, I should be able to find my other slide masters. So here is some of the slide stuff I can do. I might have to go in and just edit my masters around to get rid of get rid of this this here that I did. Like I said, I, even back then I didn't do any. Ah, in fact, this is actually the presentation one of the people used. <laughs> I realize that, um, or at least something close to it. All right. So this has been Tom. And I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.